guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for the disappearance of Brian Schaefer, who was born on February, February, February the 25th, um, 1979. He was a medical student at Ohio State University, and he went missing, um, April the 1st, 2006, he had went out to the bar with his friends after dinner with his father, um, celebrating spring break, and he was going to be going on a trip with his wife. So, we are going, I mean, not his wife, but his girlfriend at the time. So, we're going to look into what happened to Brian Schaefer. So, let's get started, guys. Spirit guides, guardian angels, please join me. Guys, could you please show me what happened to Brian Schaefer on April the 1st, 2006? What happened to Brian Schaefer on May, April the 1st, 2006? So you have the Ten of Wands in reverse. The Ace of Swords. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Um, the third, the second question I have is, Spirit Guys, can you please show me who caused Brian Schaefer's disappearance? Can you please show me who caused the disappearance of Brian Schaefer on April 1st, 2002? the reason or motive for the disappearance of Brian Schaefer. We have the chariot, the reason, ten of pentacles in reverse, and the three of wands. Knight of Cups is in the reverse position on the bottom. Okay, guys. So, for me, with the Ten of Wands in reverse, that somebody shared their burdens. Their burden was shared with somebody. This is going to be after the event happened. I feel like money was given to keep with the Ace of Swords by the Four of Pentacles in reverse, money was given to obstruct the clear, the truth from being known because it's truth, um, clarity. Clarity is not given to us. It's taken away. Um, someone was told the truth and money was exchanged to kind of make it go away. Um, with the world card in reverse, you know, the world is us. We don't know. We have lack of closure, missing pieces to the puzzle. The missing piece is going to be the chariot, which is underneath it, which is going to be how he was getting around. So, I know that there was a girl that had driven him and the guy he was with around. I believe that she is the key to unlock what happened to him. Um, with the five of swords by the world, the reason we don't know is because deception is and basically a conflict would happen and there's deception surrounding it. What's communicated to us wasn't, isn't the truth. What we know, what is known, basically I think that the person who owned the ugly tuna, allegedly in my opinion, they are what it was seen who he left with. They know who it is. It was covered up and adjusted with the four of swords. They had to come up with a plan to ensure that they got away with it. 
Um, the chariot, they, the chariot shows the person, for me, it speaks to the person who was driving the car, who was driving him and his friend around. She's going to be the key that can kind of unlock the truth. Um, money was given in order for them to be able to progress forward and get away with it. Kind of. I think that it was a drunken situation. There was a conflict. Maybe like his wallet was missing or something like that. It was some fight between, in my opinion, it's feeling like the guy friend that he was with and the girl that was there. There was something that they were in with together. They were in it together. They shared that burden and they both covered it up. They got help in doing so by messing with the footage with the Ace of Swords and the Five of Swords that's tampering with the evidence, you know. For me, in crime readings, that's what I get mainly. Maybe their family had money and were able to help them in, them in that because money was a factor in obstructing um, the progress of as in knowing what happened to him. We would know what happened to him or how he left had they not messed with the footage. So, that's what I see. I don't know why. Um, I don't really see a why it happened. It's more so that it became a burden, you know. It became a burden. And they had to figure it out. Maybe he drank too much and they had a fight. He fell. I don't I don't know what else could have happened besides that. It, I don't it doesn't feel malicious or like um, intentional. It feels like something happened and it was a quick I have to cover this up type thing. Make this go away. I can't ruin my whole life because of this. Kind of thing. So, yeah, that's what I see. Um, let me know what you guys think. Love you.